Hello guys, let's talk about lambda expressions in C-sharp. We can use lambda expression to create an anonymous function. Let's see what this means on a practical example. So first of all, let's import two namespaces. The first one is system collections generic and the second one is system.link. So in the main method, I am initializing a new variable named adding and I am using lambda expression to create an anonymous method. An anonymous method is a method which doesn't have a name, it only has a body and we can assign this body of function into a variable to use it further. So this variable is, de is a delegate because it is a referencing a method. Let's look at how we can use the lambda expression. So the first part are the parameters that the function takes in. So this function takes in two integer parameters. One is x and the second is y. Then we type in the lambda expression and then we are typing in the expression x plus y. So this anonymous function, function which doesn't have a name, takes in two integer parameters and will return a sum of them. So we are st storing a reference to this anonymous method inside the adding variable and then we can use it directly by invoking it, so adding and then passing in two parameters, two, 10 and 2, and storing in it the result inside this sum variable. Then I can use the console write line to display the sum inside the console window and as you can see it's 12. So how we can use the lambda expressions practically. For example, we, we can have a new list of strings containing two strings, Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings, inside the books variable, and then we can use the link to find one book inside of this collection. So I am using books.single, which is a method contained inside the link uh, namespace, and then I can use lambda expression to pass in a anonymous method as a parameter. So I am using the lambda expression to create a method which takes in an argument and returns an argument only and returns true only if this argument is equal to Harry Potter. That way the single method knows which which element of this of the book's collection to return. So it will return the first element. And then I can use console write line to display this element inside the console window. And as you can see, it is Harry Potter. I hope that this quick introduction has shown you how to use lambdas and what they are. And I hope to see you soon.